The table below classifies 103 elements as metal, metalloid, or non-metal, and as solid, liquid, or gas at standard temperature and pressure. What fraction of all solids and liquids in the table are metalloids? So to get our fraction, we have to figure out first the total number of solids and liquids. And then on top, we're going to have the solids and liquids that are metalloids. And this will give us the fraction of our solids and liquids that are metalloids. By the way, note that this is our first grid in question, no multiple choice, so we have to come up with our own answer for your response. So let's do the bottom first. How many of these are solids and liquids? Well, don't say 103 because that includes gases. We just need these two columns here, solids and liquids. That gives us 92. And how many of these solids and liquids are metalloids? Well, it's just seven. So our final answer is going to be seven over 92. Well, they really love chemistry. Again, a question based off of real life stuff, a real life topic, chemistry, but it's superficial. You don't need to know anything about chemistry to answer this question. So don't let the language uh, intimidate you because it's really just creating a fraction. So you read the chart and graph or the chart in this case, and you create your fraction based on what a fraction is, and you should have no problems with this. Again, the key I think for this test is going to be getting past the veneer, the superficial appearance of complexity, that this has something to do with science, and seeing the core mathematical relationships. That's what they're trying to test in these questions.